Roxy was bad today, but before I show you what she did, I'll explain a little bit about our friend Roxy Bear. She has what you'd probably call separation anxiety. She's rarely home alone, but when she is, she tries to find stuff to keep herself occupied and usually what that entails is finding like the nearest trash can like we have trash cans in our bathroom and she'll go in there and she'll get the paper and stuff out of there and rip it up and just do mischievous stuff like that or you know just find something that she can chew up usually it's trash or something that we don't care about so it's not a big deal but it's always interesting coming home to see what you'll find what she may have done this time the worst situation that this ever happened with was right after we got her I had her in the basement we, she was just a puppy and I put her in the basement to, uh, I don't know where we went, but we thought, oh, she'll be fine down there. There's nothing to even get into. Well, there was stuff to get into. She ended up ripping some of like the drywall off the one doorway. And then the other thing she did, which this was like the worst thing down in the basement. I had a 50 pound bag of garden soil down there, which I saw before I left and I was like, oh, she's not gonna do anything with that. Well, she did. She decided that she was gonna get into that bag and just rip it open and all over the floor, it was two different rooms in our basement. There was just soil everywhere. This was before I was really making YouTube videos like on a regular basis, but the only thing I have from that is a picture and it was just insane. So uh, she has these little things that she does and it's, it's kind of annoying because kind of, every time you leave her alone you have to kind of think about what she's going to do and you have to puppy proof the house as, as we call it. So uh, this other day that we left her home I'll show you what she did. She is a bad girl. Here's the culprit right here. What did you do? What did you do? No, I've already scolded her pretty bad. Uh, but it's hard to be mad at this cute little face for long. But uh, here's what she ended up doing. We have a trash can inside here that we keep things in that you can't really burn and stuff like that. And this is some compostable stuff. But uh, she decided that while we were at work, she was going to try to get in there and get what was ever in the trash can. So she took her little claws and started pawing at this and making a big mess there of the paint. Fortunately, she didn't really get into the wood. She just took the paint off there. But yeah, you were real bad, weren't you? You were bad. You're a bad girl. Uh, the good news is the owner from before left a jar of this or a gallon of this paint here. This is the same color that is on the front of this. So I got some small paint brushes and stuff, and I'm gonna see if I can touch this up to make up for what little Roxy Bear did here to our cabinets. Well, I'm by no means an expert in painting or finishing cabinets, but looking at the damage here, I'm thinking the best thing to do would maybe to sand this down a little bit to make this like a more uniform area so you don't notice that I'm just touching up like those spots in, in particular right there. So I was thinking, the one thing that I do have is, are these uh, sander, like scrub brush type looking things. And I thought maybe if I take this to that, I'd be able to get that corner rounded out a little bit and make it look half decent. So I'm gonna give that a try here. Let's give this a shot here. I don't know if that's even doing anything. I guess that, oh, that made it really nice and smooth there. It is doing something. So I'm going to take more of this paint off. I wonder if I could just pitch that off like that. I really didn't like the way the sanding was going, so what I decided to do is just get in here with my fingernails, little fingernails I have, and just start scraping this extra paint off that was on the corner over here. That seems to be working better than the sand, the sand block. So I'm just going to get this all cleaned up on the side. That way it creates like a bigger area that I can paint and you won't really notice I'm touching up individual spots. But a spot like that I'm probably just going to have to deal with, unfortunately. I scraped most of the paint off of that big section, so I kind of got it flattened out at the top here and down the side. So next I'm going to take some paint and see if we can fill that in and make it look somewhat normal. I was going to use one of these small brushes we have, but they're both kind of big. So what I decided to do, I got into my art kit that I had from a while back and I found these uh, acrylic paint brushes. And these are pretty small, so I thought maybe I would just try using one of these to touch that up. And I could also get those smaller spots like that with these. So let's see how these work with this paint, and hopefully it looks good. Here we go. Let's see how this turns out. Make sure it's on camera. Yeah, not too bad. that up so I don't get it on the top cabinet although I do have some touch-ups to do there I'll just go across the top here get some of these other spots that are from unrelated incidents I 
put another little coat on that. Next we'll do this little gash right here. Might have got a little too much paint on that one. Oh, there we go. Just blend it right in. Sweet. It's not looking too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Looks a little lighter right now, but I think that's just because it's still wet. Alright, so we'll let that one go. Next spot here, this one's pretty substantial. This is like right where the door opens, so she was trying pretty hard at this spot here. And I'll just take that up like that. Kind of feel like Bob Ross right now. I should have my own painting show. My masterpiece right here. Take that through there. This may go down as my most boring video I've ever posted. Here's another substantial scratch here. Cover that up. On this right here, I'm just gonna go right across like that. This I might make a little bit bigger than what it needs to be. Just to blend it a little bit. A little spot there too. Here's the final product. I think it turned out pretty well for just using a tiny little artist paintbrush and the same paint that the owner used before it turned out pretty flawlessly. I mean, you can't even really tell. Uh, there are a couple spots like uh, right here that you can see that there was an issue with the paint, but look at that. I mean, I'm, a, I'm two feet away from it right now and you really can't see it. And once you get out to this point, this is where what you're gonna see if you're standing here. You're never even gonna notice it. So I'm pretty happy the way that turned out. Well, we had a conversation and we decided that we're not gonna scratch that up anymore. She said when she stays home, she's gonna be a good girl and not get into all kinds of mischief and be batty faced anymore. So I believe her. I'm gonna I'm gonna believe you this time. You're not gonna get in any more trouble anymore, are you? You're gonna be a goody girl. Yeah, you are. But uh, in reality, this uh, this wasn't really her fault. There was uh, obviously stuff in the trash can that should have been disposed of, and she was interested in. It. And you're not gonna stop a dog when they're looking for chow. So. That is our video. Uh, thanks for watching me paint. Uh, I'm gonna start a new painting channel. Uh, I'm gonna start a painting business. So if you wanna hire me out, I'll be available Saturdays and Sundays. You know how to get a hold of me. So thanks for watching, and we'll have another video up soon. Hopefully, not of any more destruction.